many materials and coatings may be deformed throughout the production stage or during the service life of the product they are intended to be used for. Perhaps you would like to test the impact resistance of coatings typically found on your car front bumper or other body panels. Or maybe you would like to test the impact resistance of protective layers typically found on mobile phone screens. In order to evaluate a coating's performance to direct and indirect physical impacts, we have developed a tester that produces results that are repeatable and reproducible. The Alcometer 1615 Variable Impact Tester is a simple to use tester ideal for evaluating the resistance of a coating to impacts which typically result in the coating being elongated, cracked or peeled. The tester's heavy duty base plate features holes to bolt the tester down, ensuring safe operation. Its anodized arm and integrated bubble level ensures stable testing for accurate, reliable and repeatable results, making the Alcometer 1615 safe and easy to use. The Alcometer 1615 base unit kit contains an impact tester and base with an integrated bubble leveller, a graduated tube and a collar release mechanism to hold and release the weight or indenter, a magnifier to inspect results and a 4mm hexagonal wrench key to assemble the tester. Depending on the standard you are working towards, you then have the option of seven different kits, providing functionality for testing towards various methods. Every available kit can be categorised as folding weight, known as direct, or resting weight, known as indirect. A direct test consists of a weight with a hemispherical punch falling directly onto your sample, whereas an indirect test consists of a weight falling onto an indenter which is resting on the sample. The height from which your weight is released is defined by the particular standard you are working towards. Each kit contains a weight with an attached punch and or a static indenter. The punch and indenter define the degree of deformation at the point of impact. And a die with fixing screws. The die essentially acts as a guide for the punch, ensuring a consistent and repeatable impact. Every kit is slightly different. Some contain, along with the other components previously mentioned, an adjustable stop collar to limit how far into the sample the punch or indenter travels, a sample clamp, variations of weights and indenters, and a 3mm and 4mm hexagonal wrench to assemble the tester. Simply choose the most appropriate kit for your application, then attach the punch, die and accessories to the base unit. Full details of the contents of each individual kit and the standards they conform to you can visit www.elcometer.com. So, how does it work? Once your tester has been safely secured to a stable surface, make sure it is level using the built-in bubble leveller. Install the appropriate kit for your application by placing your die onto the base. Slide your stop collar over the graduated tube and insert your weight with punch or your static indenter. Secure your clamp by tightening the included screws using the included hexagonal wrench. Place your sample onto the die and secure it into place by lowering the clamp. Slide the release collar to your required position on the graduated tube and lock it into position by tightening the fixing screws. Lift the weight until your desired depth is aligned with the slot in the guide tube and then lower the weight onto the locating pin at the base. This ensures your falling weight is correctly aligned. Then lift the weight up to the release collar and lock it into position by rotating the handle on the release collar. Release the weight by rotating the handle on the release collar and the weight will drop. After impact, Lift the weight and re-secure it in the release collar. Release the specimen clamp and remove your sample. 
The coating can then be inspected using the magnifier supplied to check for elongation, cracking or peeling of the paint surface. How your results are determined will be dependent on the standards you are working towards, but generally if a coating remains uncracked, the distance the weight is dropped from or the weight itself is increased slightly until the coating fails. For further information about the Alcometer 1615 Impact Tester, click one of the links on screen or simply visit www.alcometer.com. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Alcometer channel to be notified of any new videos.